Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are loading into our first game of Splatoon 3 for Turf War. Um, give me one second, I'll have it pulled up for the school we're playing against. We're playing against Crosstown Christian School. It's our first week back since spring break, so we'll see if people are a little rusty or if we can pull this one out. Try and hold them in their base. Not the rain. But unfortunately, a lot of people are against this uh, tactic. Some just don't see. Flash in the use of that. Just flash in. Is the base ink? Though? That's the question. That's blue. blue. That's 100% blue. That is 100% blue. Blast the art teacher later. If you say so. If you say so. <laughs> this is purple. It's not the same color. It looks exactly. It's not the same color. As someone that plays Splatoon, I feel like you should know your colors. I do. <laughs> My color or not? Good. Mm, this seems pretty even still. Watch out for the third party. I think they might have just made that last push and gotten a bunch of turf. Unfortunately, the turns out that the game was in their favor this time because I mean, we just weren't able to keep that mid control like you were talking about. Mm. Also, mm -hmm. it's very crucial to uh, make sure you like you throw bombs and stuff towards the end to get as much ground covered as possible. And also because it. The gates to the game from completely stopping. Yeah. Oh, can you be pushed into overtime? Oh, or no? no? Like, you, can, you won't be able to move, but it won't go to the results until... Oh, you mean like even after time is called if the bomb isn't finished coming off. Okay, yeah. <sighs> so what's next? Is it Rainmaker? Rainmaker, I think? Yeah. Rainmaker? Rainmaker is plasma. I think we're playing, they said Rainmaker. Make a more, I know. Alright, let's see these stats. Oh, shoot. There we go, back again. Miss the stats. Yes, so it is Rainmaker. Make a Mart Rainmaker, I think, is what's next. Unless they decide otherwise. We get to choose the map pick since we did end up falling short in map one. So, we'll see what they end up deciding. How do you think things will go differently during Rainmaker than possibly Turf War did? That we can get a win? Yeah, 
I suggest is uh, choosing a full sub team of just suction bombs, and when you get to the middle of the map, just throw it at the uh, moon maker. Since suction bomb has a higher radius and does a lot more damage, if you if everyone throws it at the same time, it'll take automate. out a bunch of enemies and, and get the guy to drop the rainmaker. Mm -hmm. And also, there is a like a little just a straight path right towards the checkpoint. Mm -hmm. uh, very easy to get, and you don't have to like. Yeah, you can basically push as a team dead straight and finish the whole match. Well, let's hope that that's what it, what's end up what ends up happening. We'll see. Yeah, we are going Mako Mart. Mako Mart Rainmaker. Hmm? No, mic's on. Mic is on. The mic is hot. We're picking loadouts here, and we should be loading in here very soon. We have Zor going to uh, Imperius Black Blues. Is that the same ones that she was using last game? I think so. It was very good for, uh, it's a very good loadout for uh, Rainmaker. Especially if your whole team is wiped and you have that triple splash down. Yeah, it lets you take up a lot of ink, like right, right in front of you and right underneath you. So yeah, especially when you're like clearing a path to let your teammates follow you, I can see why that could be really useful. A little neat trick I like to do with that one mm -hmm. is if uh, no one's going for the rainmaker and it's still in the middle of the map, I'll just throw a curling bomb and then just pick it up and try and get, get it as far as I can. Maybe they haven't decided. So that's definitely not the Splat Duelies. <laughs> like change. It's like two people have already put in their weapons. Hopefully we can even things up this map. What with the uh, splat duelies? Can they only do they only come with the splat duelies? Is that how it works? No, there's a couple. Of them, so. so that item is like weapon specific though. It's not like you can interchange it at all. Luckily, uh, it does have the hydra. Has a very great and very powerful weapon to use it right. We do have the Rainmaker. Push it forward. See? One down. The opponent is right there. Not even that far. Just gotta get these players off the Rainmaker. Mm. You got the Rhythm Blaster uh, going for a rush. And they're pushing strong. So I'm considering what they have. Already got the stamp. That stamp is very. You can literally clear the straight path. Straight in any mode. It's be so powerful. We're holding mid down strong. We got a lead. Is as long as they can just make sure that they don't get it. And if they do, they can. Yeah, but you don't want to just rely on that. You'd like to at least have one. Mm, split. Uh, I feel about this. And the white belt. I should have saved the ring. Alright. Push it up to the podium. Oh no. Uh, 
grab it, it's right there. Oh, but it looks like most of the team's falling. I mean, at this point, you're the last player, and you're uh, still alive, you haven't been detected you yet. Yeah. The best right. thing you can do is uh, grab the Rainmaker as soon as they break it. Just get it. Reset it. Yeah, we're just getting pushed back into our base right now. Man. Another great thing is uh, this game does require a lot of patience, especially with the random game. You know when to go. Yeah. That roller. That roller can just pave them the way. It's so hard to tell like, if you're going to get hit or not. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we got to get this out of our base. About two minutes left. Is the E-Leader like a sniper, basically? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good one, too. Long range. Sure you have to be very accurate, though, in order to use it. And use it effectively. Also, considering the type of kit The new uh, models of the uh, E-Leader, I to the Kraken Warrior. That's not a good idea. The Kraken? And they just rush in, basically. And we've been able to hold them. It's just getting back on the offense. It's to get a good team push in. What they should do is have everybody posted up in front. Or like, uh, it's two down. Shielding radius type. Mm -hmm. uh, and then have the Rainmaker spam. That was a much closer game, but still, it went to time at least. Alright. Gotta lock it in for game three. Hopefully we can push to best of five. Push all the way out to game five at this point. What? And we'll have to play the the, the one game mode we hate. <laughs> Clam Blitz. One game mode I'm good at. The one game mode that two people like. Well, doesn't Chris like Clam Blitz or no? I don't think it's Chris. I think it's Noah. Noah I know likes Clam Blitz. I mean, the kills don't look that uneven. I think it was just how they played it. They were able to get more team pushes together, and once they got of stuck back in the base, it was basically done. So we should be loading in here in just a few minutes. They're going to have to discuss map picks and weapons and everything. Or tower control. No, splat zones, right? Splat zones is next, then tower control. Splat zones. Game I was playing, uh, I'd gotten 20, 21 splats, but we still lost. Really? In what game mode? It was Rainmaker. Rainmaker? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's the team pushes, what we gotta work on. The team pushes is what's killing us in almost every game mode. 
Especially ones like Tower Control and Rainmaker, where you have to be, like, team pushes are essential. Kills us. I think it was at the beginning when they took the, uh, the route in the middle instead of the one on the side. Uh huh. So, is there two options for the middle pedestal in that one? Yeah. Okay. Are all maps like that? Okay. I think some have only one. Yeah, like one route you have to go in, whereas that one it looked like you could have gone left or right in order to get to the final pedestal. Hey! They did our thing! I think they're trying to figure out, yeah, they're trying to figure out splat zone maps real quick. As long as it's not like a two zone map, it should be. I don't know, last time we played a two zone map, it went pretty well. I don't know, but then there's the constant back and forth. Yeah. Do you have to hold both zones? Okay. I didn't realize you had to have both in order to, or is it just the majority of both? Well. How does it work whenever, I've noticed, once you start to fill up the majority, then it just auto-fills, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good thing, too. Yeah. That would be such a pain if it didn't. I feel like it would go back and forth so much more frequently. But also, sometimes it's a bad thing, because... Go to us for a little bit. Now you can finally see our faces. Sometimes what, you're saying? Uh, sometimes it's like... One person essentially could but hold a zone against four, depending yeah. on the type of weapon they have. Uh -huh. Which is also why the autofill is kind of a bad thing. I guess that's fair, because if you had four people rushing one zone, it's much more likely that they can take more of a percentage of that zone than one person by themselves trying to defend it was, or can. And also there's the fact that being in the other ring does damage. Yeah, true. How long does it normally take, like, if you're just standing in your enemy, like, the enemy team's ink, does it, you die pretty quickly, or no? No, it only does 0.5, maybe, or 10 damage. Uh -huh. It's not enough to die from. But it's enough to get, to deal, to be enough of a deal that you need to not just stand in it. Also, you can't, obviously, refill your ink if you're just standing in your opponent's ink. So you can't really go on the offensive if you're just sitting there standing in their ink. Connection got disconnected. So we should be low. Oh. Yeah, we're having to reconnect back to them. So. Just one second. Have to be careful how they play this, because even though they can take the zone at the beginning, what I, what I have noticed is that a constant rush of the other team can really like, I don't know how it works, but it really gets them the other team the zone. So like, if I'm holding the zone and the other team is still like constantly rushing, mm -hmm. it can be a little bit harder the more times they rush. But I have noticed. Yeah, I mean it's basically just like a constant stream of them. Yeah, rather than, well, I mean, if you had, like, a constant stream of four there, obviously that would hold off, like, one after the other after the other, but if it's just, like, one or two people there and they've got one after the other just pushing in, obviously that could become overwhelming if, like, it was just constant. Losing, like, just one teammate can, like, change the game. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, hopefully we're able to keep people consistently alive in this one. That seems to be one of our bigger problems is without those team pushes and people defending each other like that, it just seems like one the towers will topple like dominoes, one after the other. So I guess we'll see how this splat zone plays out. and Depending on how this goes, this could end up wrapping up things. Hopefully not, but we'll see. I'm hoping that we can kind of rebound here. Last week we ended up did we did end up falling short, so I hope that we can turn things around this week, get back on the right track as we push through the rest of this season. 
think so. I don't think so. I think we're going to make it. I think so, too. I hope so. I think just communication is going to be one of the big things because noticing their comms were not really there this past game. Not as much as normal, at least, I would say. So hopefully communication will be back up this game. Also, it's kind of it's almost a gamble too because it can be a series of unfortunate events. Yeah, true. I have noticed that watching Splatoon is it's things can be going your way and then out of nowhere it's just completely turned on its head. Long radius, stray blast. Yeah. So I guess we'll see. We're finally joining back in. I guess there was a connection error with the I've been other team. Noticing an increase of a lot of specials having a larger radius with a one tap ability. Like with a, a what kind of ability? A one tap that just instantly kills you. Interesting. Which ones would be considered like one tap abilities? Like the stamp and mm -hmm. the kraken. What else? The trizuka, the triple ink strike. The There's a strike. lot of options. Mm -hmm. Considering in, in this in Splatoon 3, that's like your starter. That's what your starter weapon is the uh, triple ink strike. Mm. And considering that uh, when first starting out with a specific weapon, a splatter shot, uh -huh. uh, junior, it gives you a different type of ink gauge because like you're first starting. Yeah. And you don't know how to play. So it wants to be a little easier on you, a little new player friendly. And you get to keep the weapon too, so. And it, doesn't get rid of the uh, extra ink that you get with the weapon too. So is that cons still considered like a good weapon or no? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I've noticed that they've increased the uh, the range on weapons like those. Hopefully we'll be hopping in here soon. Although they're uh, getting things figured out, we'll cut to a quick commercial and see. Or we'll give you all a picture of the room for a few minutes and see what it's looking like as everybody's getting in to their games. All right, so we're loading in Splat Zones. What map is this? This is... Okay, I, they sound confident. Yeah. Her battle discussions. I think it's called... Capital. Uh, uh oh. End of the game. Oh, oh missing a player. Uh, someone DC'd. I guess they'll go back out and hopefully they can hop in and we can run that back. Okay, so you cause it like a stumble for another team. What weapon is this that Anna's using? I don't recognize this one. Splishomatic. Mm -hmm. oh, and we're all good now. 
tried. Back at it again. Yeah, I finished the video. Hmm. Now we're hopping in. Ready up. I'm really lacking some range here. We are, you said? Mm -hmm. I guess the plan will be get close to the zone and try and hold it. Crab leg. That's the name. Crab leg. Capital Crab leg. Things Capital Crab Yeah. Crab leg Capital. Oh, yeah. So the uh, e leader and the baton are going to definitely be all of them. Are. You just think they have way more range than we do? Not. Just got to really be up to uh, Tim Kid and the roller. <laughs> they got control of the zone. We need to get in and make this. Also, Perfect. I think you need like 30, need stamper. 35, 25% to stop the, uh, to the timer from going down. And you need 70 for its auto kill. Yeah. Contrary to popular belief, having uh, a sh like the. Uh, Oh yeah, also the stamper is extremely good for this move. It has a, it makes a lot of ink and it's very powerful and a lot of people try and avoid it. I guess the one downside to using that Kraken is the ink that it leaves behind is so narrow. It's not like the stamper where it just takes up so much space. Okay, they traded there, good. That can some evasiveness. Also, that is another good thing. It's to ink around the objective because that means you can refill and stay there, and they won't want to stand in it. Yeah. And it causes them to uh, lose ink. Did we DC again? I think so. They have some technical issues on their side. But regardless, we had to lead. Oh, they're still playing. Also, it's also bad to have uh, a low tick rate, I mean, less time early game, because it's going to cause the other team to try and everyone's going to push the zone mm -hmm. all at once. And this it's like a last ditch effort, basically, to close it out. And it could cost you the win. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get those last three seconds, and we're giving up so much time. Yeah. You can't rely on, like, last-minute efforts because... Okay, we got control. So what is the plus, like, 62, 61? Those are penalties for uh, not keeping the zone. Okay, so we would have to get rid of all of that in order to start gaining, like, those last three points we are talking about? Also why you shouldn't try and complete the game super quickly or very just get those last few points. Mm. I mean it can if you can hold them at base. But it's also risky because everyone is responding their constantly. Yeah. The E leader just that may have just cost them the game just yeah. took out the stamper. Oh she they used the stamper and then got oh no. Yeah, I mean, we have so much penalty to make up for it. But as long as they just don't get past late, we, they lost control. We just got to really push. Kicking us out of penalty. Oh, he's got the roller. Why did we go that way? Should be uh, in the zone. Yeah. Mm. I don't understand why we didn't just keep it in zone. Unfortunately, yeah. that is that's this game.
days when he practiced just y'all, nobody else. All right, guys, so we did end up falling 3-0 uh, to school again. The Cornerstone Christian School and their Splatoon team, so GG's to them. Uh, we are going to leave the stream going for a little bit of practice, but uh, we will be hopping away from the mic for a little while. Uh, we'll leave the gameplay on for a few more minutes, so y'all can keep watching if you want. Uh, and we should be back tomorrow. Or Smash, I believe. Smash Team 3, I think, is what's going to end up being on stream. But uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Go Cougars!